If people see a certain kind of chair in a certain kind of room, they're getting information from that that is so sophisticated that they don't even know they're getting the information. If a design doesn't work, the audience has trouble understanding the play. It is a form of communication that is not using words. I look at color, I look at balance, I look at texture, form, composition. All of those things are important because all of those things in some way or another communicate to the audience. Choosing to have them be two architecturally identical houses, one that's fixed up and one that's run down, helps the audience understand the potential of the one that's run down and gives the audience some energy in thinking about, yeah, they could have fixed that house up and made it really nice. Constantly. And then the other house, part of the story is this guy is always like the honorable mention or runner-up in the gardening award. So in designing the gardens, we had to make the gardens so precise that they are a little unnatural. So it just misses the mark in what a really beautiful garden should be. The thing about being in the theater that's really interesting to me, what we do is so temporary. It's like being an ice sculptor. It all melts. It, it's on stage for a while and then it will never exist in the same way again. Knowing it's not going to last is part of the energy that drives all of us. We have to deliver the things that we make on time, on budget. They have to be good because the audience is going to show up.